is this? This is just a box of paper. Don't, I have a lot of earrings in high school. This is very nice. I'm going to wash this and donate it. I just made a crazy decision that is going to be time consuming, but I'm, I'm, I'm tired of, I've been putting this off for a year and today's not the day that I'm putting things off. I am redoing this bedroom. I am resetting the button on this entire bedroom. This turned into an extreme declutter unexpectedly. side of the room, which is my side of the bed, has become Andy's situation. He's got two desks, a chair, another chair, a computer, signs we said we were going to do something about, his work bag. I mean, it's just out of control. So I'm in a mood to redo it. I could put my boots away. This is stuff that belongs in the bathroom. That's jewelry my mother gave me that I need to deal with. I mean, that's a jar of bench box cars in our master bedroom. So today's the day. I'm going to do it. I don't like it anymore. It's not spa feeling. It's, I don't walk into this room and be like, yes, I'm in for a lovely night's sleep. No. We are going to start. We're going to start with the RV stuff. <laughs> and I set up an assembly line with the kids on the steps. Okay? Jack hands it to Bex. Bex hands it to Brandon. Yes. Bex hands it to Brandon. Brandon puts it on the bench. You ready for the next? Yeah. Ready. Okay. Here you are. And more. section done. Dog hair trash and dog books which I'm gonna wash. No throwing. No throwing. I don't want someone to get hurt. Alright now I'm gonna do this section. This is four empty shoe boxes. Recycling. Okay this is a photo album. This can go with all the other photo albums. Okay, this is a napkin. These are pajama pants, socks, laundry, another sock, laundry. Uh, this looks like a bunch of papers. This is probably shred. 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 How did it end up in here? This is very nice. I'm going to wash this and donate it. What is this? I know what this is. These are the clothes my youngest son is going to grow into. I have a second bin of these in his closet. And I'm just going to put it in his bedroom. Just going to sit for a second. <laughs> Take a break. I want to talk about Native and thank Native for sponsoring this segment of the video. I'm breaking a sweat and I don't stink. In fact, I stink nice with their new scents. The three scents I have right now are Lavender and Rose, which is my original one that I love so much. And then I have two new ones, the sensitive ones, Cotton and Lily, which smells like fresh laundry, which is what I smell like right now. And the other one, uh, the other sensitive one is uh, Aloe and Green Tea. That also smells really good. I continue to partner with Native this year over and over because of their promise to sustainability. They have a plastic-free deodorant. It is the same formula as the regular deodorant. It's just in plastic-free packaging. It's made from paperboard, which is just great to make small, continued, sustainable choices day after day, month after month. They start to add up. They are aluminum-free, paraben-free, and sulfate-free. 
Use my linking code below to get three plastic-free deodorants for yourself for $29, which is normally $39. You'll get the 25% off discount. They ship to the US, Canada, Australia, and many more countries. This is simply an exercise in putting everything where it belongs. Putting it somewhere else doesn't deal with it. Okay. This is school. School closet, school closet. YouTube filming equipment. Goes in that closet. This and this. Go in that closet. I don't know what this is. This is just a box of paper. I'm in it. journal. This is work. That's office. Um, this is 2021 taxes. Goes in there. This is trash. 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 Okay. Shred. Why did I put it in here instead of putting it in the office cabinet? I don't even know. I mean, how long has this box been sitting here? Shred. There's our membership for the National Aquarium. New one, had it. What do we have left? Some sticky purple thing, a hair tie, an Allen wrench, and a nail file. I'm just gonna shred. Right away. Instead of saving shred for another day, I'm just gonna do it right now. Done, putting it away. So, starting to get to me. All right, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna do this now. Okay, so this is just a bag of stuff for bathroom that has to be put away. This is my coffee from this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and drink that. Jar full of matchbox cars and a pencil. I still have aspirations of getting rid of this and decluttering a lot from within here. What was it, a year ago? I attempted that and I got stuck because so much of it is unknown or family heirlooms and I never returned to that project and it's just sort of sitting here. I think I'll feature the jewelry that I actually wear up top so that I can close this and stuff everything else in here. I just made a crazy decision that is going to be time consuming, but I'm, I'm, I'm tired of, I've been putting this off for a year and today's not the day that I'm putting things off. I am redoing this bedroom. I am resetting the button on this entire bedroom and that includes that jewelry box. So I can think of, these are the earrings I'm wearing right now and the bracelet. There are two other pairs of earrings that I know I want. My pearls and my diamonds my husband has given me through our anniversaries. I can't think of another thing in here I want, except maybe my cross. Yeah, my cross that Andy gave me 11-ish years ago from Poland for Valentine's Day before we were married. And then everything my mom gave me, I have to deal with that as well. And I'm doing it. This just suddenly turned into an extreme declutter of my bedroom and I'm doing it. I have in my head made a decision to let go of everything in this box, including this jewelry box. That's going to go as well. I'm going to keep anything that is family heirloom and questionable. I'm going to set it aside. 
for an assessment by the grandparents to tell me some history on it. Otherwise, everything else is getting donated. So, this is, this is, I've decided to lay out two sections on my bed. This is my sorting section, empty. And that's gonna be my keep section and everything else is gonna get donated. Actually, my keeps are gonna go up here. Ooh, that's heavy. Wonder what's in there. Two drawers. That's a start. I think this was from my nap. Okay, so family heirlooms going over here. This belongs in my Bible. Stuff that belongs elsewhere. These are just giant heavy earrings I wore a hundred years ago. Donate. Just an old watch of mine that I had fixed and never wore again. That's super heavy. Donate. All right. Matching earrings. I have a bunch of empty boxes. So I'll start to put some matching earrings that I'm going to donate over here. It's not engraved. It certainly could be. I'm going to donate that. I'm actually make a pile for Andy. Broken... Necklace, broken necklace. Sweet little locket, empty, still in the box. Donate. Bracelet. Donate. Broken bracelet. Broken earring. Rings. Oh, this one's broken. Broken. So basically I've been collecting trash. All right, clip on earrings, clip on earrings. Donate. Okay. This. This is a box of jewelry. Ooh, a bunch of beads. That. No. Nothing in here. I want to keep nothing in here. Okay. This was my very first pair of earrings when I was 13 years old. I saved them because they were my first pair of earrings. Well, I saved one because it was my first pair of earrings. What am I, 45? I have been holding on to this for 32 years. One earring for 32 years. Everything in this little box was from my, my teenagehood, all my first earrings. They're all like broken or missing the other half. <laughs> so funny that I know exactly what this was. So this is like a box for 32 years of broken, mismatched earrings that I've been hanging on to and I'm going to trash with ease. Thank you minimalism <laughs> that I'm no longer carting this around in my life. The weight of it, the silent to-do list of it, the physical weight of it, the moving from house to house as a Navy family. I, I have no remorse about throwing this away and I've enjoyed the childhood memory for a minute. Trash. Next drawer. <laughs> I think I know what's in here. It's not Tylenol. I think it's the, yep, my diamond earrings and the blue earrings from my friend that I love. This is what I use when we travel, how I hold my earrings. It's a Tylenol bottle. Um, I'm actually gonna do that because we're traveling again in a couple of days. So I'm gonna keep <laughs> because the lid you have to really work to get the lid off so I don't lose my earrings. Use what you have. Okay. I would say like I would reuse one of these empty boxes, but this can easily open and I could lose my earrings that I love to keep and are valuable. So I'm using this. This is, that is a necklace. This is a necklace I wore to prom, okay? As in high school, 30 plus years ago. Donating that. Okay, these are all family heirlooms. To be questioned and determined. 
this, same with that. That's the mother of pearl bracelet. Um, <clears throat> okay, just pieces of a box. Okay, that's empty. <laughs> this is the box that my husband kept the engagement ring in when he bought it. This is a sentimental box. This is a box I addressed the last time I addressed jewelry. Um, I kind of want to keep it because it's from Andy, but what's the point of keeping an empty box? I wear the ring on my finger. I never take it off. This is a gold necklace. Donate. <laughs> Found the key for the cuckoo clock. I think this belongs to the cuckoo clock. This is the cuckoo clock that is currently at the clock repair person. <clears throat> when I unpacked it, this it's one of the few things I kept from Sentimental. Here is the key that I am asking the clock maker to replace. I think these are to the clock as well. So I'm gonna keep these to the side. In fact, I'm gonna put them in this box and keep it. There's my, my keeps up there. They seem to have lids. So there we go. This is the last of the drawers. Then I have the top part and the necklaces. That is, yep, these are all, I went through a pin phase in high school. So these have no value. I'm just gonna donate them though. Because these have no like value to sell. Another empty box, another empty box. Now, these are the earrings that I wore the day I got married. I'm keeping these. Broken locket. These are just a bunch of broken earrings, one earring with no match and trinkets. I mean, this was the container. I actually remember doing this. This was the container for that purpose, for lost earrings that are missing one, broken things that I hung on to. That's what this was for. Ooh, okay. This is another box of earrings that don't a lot of earrings in high school. Another box of earrings that don't have matches. Wow. Trash. Oh, this is a box of treasures from through four ex-boyfriends ago. Trash. You know what I'm gonna do? That box that Andy had the ring in, I am going to put my earrings from the day I got married. So this is the box my husband gave me with the engagement ring. And now these are the earrings that I wore on our wedding day that I would like to give my daughter. She may or may not wear them, but she might like to have them. Donate, donate, donate. Okay, that feels extreme, but it feels right. This is what I'm keeping. Nothing under here. Gold hoops my husband just bought me. A bracelet that my sisters and I all have. A bracelet for my aunt. The necklace for my husband. The rosary that my one of my father-in-laws made for me. And then here I'm keeping my blue baubles. Diamond hoops my husband just gave me. Gold hoops my husband just gave me. No, like a year ago. I don't even know. Uh, my diamond studs for some anniversary. I'm missing my pearl earrings. I think they're in my wallet. And other gold hoops. These I've had forever and do not hurt my ears, which is why I keep them. And my, my jewelry travel case. <laughs> Okay, now, what I do need though is a solution to hang these. I mean, just a nail on the wall will do it. That's not a good spot. I'm gonna put it here. That way the kids can't get it because it's shiny and they'll wanna touch it. <laughs> All right, now I need a solution. I know my solution. I know my solution already. Maybe some hooks on the wall would be nice someday to sort of set up like a little jewelry thing inside my closet, but today's not that day. I'm just gonna hang it on there. There we go. 
maybe like a couple nails or hooks here would be nice but for now it'll be on there and it won't get lost which is important and my rosary i don't wear i use so it doesn't really belong with jewelry office then until i know what i want to do with it sometimes these things just come to me where to store things this is not it but notice it's where i put my antique bibles and my rosary from my childhood these are andy stuff that he needs to keep these are the clock parts and then this is all sentimental but needs to go in that other sentimental jewelry box andy doesn't know where it is either it's either under this bed or it's in the basement and this is everything i'm decluttering to donate and everything else went in the trash bag this is the stuff my mom gave me from her jewelry box which probably came from my grandmother's jewelry box. I don't want anything that's in here. Sorry, mom. I just, I don't. I don't think there's anything in here. It all looks like costume jewelry. It doesn't look anything like valuable in any way. There's a little note from my grandmother. I can tell by the writing. This says, from Vi, 1943. I mean, this kind of vintage costume jewelry is definitely a thing at thrift shops. People love finding that kind of stuff. Um, it's just collecting dust in my house. It's not going to do anything. I'm getting rid of it. I'm just, I'm going to donate that whole thing, including the jewelry box. Okay, this is a, a champagne box. These might be valuable. Okay, that's the mother of pearl with the pin that I saved. Um, these probably have value. I am setting aside all the things that might be valuable. That's all gonna be donate. This is may have some value to it, so I'm going to have things appraised by a jeweler. I just grabbed an old shoe bin thing that doesn't have a lid that was in my daughter's room and I put all the jewelry that needs to be valued. I took some pictures of the jewelry box and posted it on Facebook Marketplace so we'll see if I get any takers. It's the next day. I was very exhausted after yesterday's half of the room. The jewelry declutter really actually wiped me out. Just stuff that I've had for decades letting go of it, it was actually very easy to part with it. But the release of the declutter of something that I'd been hanging on to for decades had caught up with me afterwards. I literally laid down and took a nap. I was wiped from that. Decluttering can be exhausting and recognizing and respecting your physical boundaries is very important when you're purging things from your life. And so that's what I did. I just stopped yesterday. It's a new day. I'm going to finish this half and get it clean. This is a bin from my daughter's room. I'm just gonna put all of Andy's stuff that he needs to situate in, in the rest of the house and put away in here for him. I chatted with the hubs and he said that he's fine with leave, taking out the computers and the desk because he really isn't teleworking anymore now that the restrictions have been lifted. So he's fine getting the computers and the desk out of the bedroom, which is awesome. So we're going to move those into the basement. That's his big plan is to have these desks in the basement for a gaming setup. And he said if he needs to telework, he will slide one of the kids desks that's in their room into our room and he'll telework for the day in our bedroom and put the desk back. Awesome plan, great solution, using what you got.
up here, more just, honestly, it's not my stuff. It's Andy's stuff. So I'm going to put it in his basket for him. Camping. How did I get this far down the rabbit hole of the master bedroom? <laughs> All right. This I want hung up in here. How about you tuck in the picture hanger for it? Another random empty bin. I'm just going to put all of his nightstand stuff here instead of the other basket because this is probably more timely for him. So I'll keep it organized in here. So you can just deal with that. Money! <laughs> I love when I find money. Does anyone else do this to their spouse? Like make a bin of all of their things that you don't want someplace anymore. And they're like, here you go, here's your stuff. What? Okay, being in proximity to the dog means that some dog hair is trapped behind the nightstand. It's pretty bad. Don't judge me in the comments. I'm aware of how gross it is behind the nightstand and how gross it is behind the dog crate because stuff was piled in front of the dog crate. I didn't see the dog hair building up. That's also really gross, but we're about to do something about it because I'm at cleaning stage. dirt pile from underneath the nightstand. Just that. All right, let's do the dog's area. Super massive bag of bombs. This is gross. We have the dog's crate in here for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's his safe space. He goes in here to take naps. The kids are not allowed to bother him in there so he can rest in there. It's his space. Number two, when we are gone for a while, He's in his crate uh, while we're not in the house. He's still very much a puppy and really gets very excited about anybody that walks by and jumps on the windows at the front. And I don't want him to break a window or go crazy or something like that and get hurt. Um, and number three is he's crate trained. It's just where he goes to sleep at night. He likes to get up during the night and check on everybody. And he goes and smells our faces, <laughs> checks on us, and wakes us up. So uh, he, that's why he's in his crate at night, because <laughs> he likes to check on us and wake everybody up.
That is the pile from the dog crate. Let's combine it with the pile from my husband's nightstand right now. No wonder I sneeze all the time. I mean, yeah, I'm allergic to the dog, but uh, this doesn't help. Grossness. decided to donate this one and the cross along with this because we already have a cross hanging in the house and then this is going to get glued onto Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So I'm going to donate these three things. This is the mess I need my husband's help with getting downstairs when he gets home. I think he wants to put the mirror or else maybe we'll put it in my daughter's room. And then I've got four pictures and our vows that need to go on the wall. And with all the dust I'm kicking up, I'm gonna give this a wash before I put it back on. And just came home early. <laughs> so it'll be a surprise, lovely new, clean and empty bedroom, but a bunch of crap at the top of the stairs. This is not what we talked about. <laughs> well, it is a little bit. We said we were going to get the desks out of the bedroom. You said that. This is not what we talked about. Well, this is not what you meant. 
Is this a reaction video? <laughs> no, it's just, I'm still filming. So. Did we renovate? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. You know what there is over here? What is there? So much room for activities. <laughs> Ranger agrees. You know what there is over here? Even more room for activities. So, what do you think? I like it. Do you want your desk? Do you want your desk back in here before we haul it downstairs? No, I'm good without it being in here. I like the vibe. Yeah, just have it open. Yeah, we can hang a mirror somewhere. Well, that's what I was thinking. I, I kept over there what I thought we might hang in this room. The mirror might go really good right here. Mm -hmm. Or right there. Sure. Somewhere where we can use it. Sure. Well, the vibe that I meant was like, it's not a workspace. Right. It's not a dumping ground. Yeah. It's our bedroom yeah. for yeah. bedroom yeah. activities and sleeping. Yeah. Right? It's like a nice vibe, right? Okay, this took me like six hours, so. You worked on it all day. And yesterday. Yeah. Good. I so. think it's great. I mean, you saw the one half yesterday, how much work that was, but I actually cleaned. Like I did the floors I've and dusted wanting, everything. I've been wanting to run the robot vacuum in here. I have not been able to <laughs> because of all of our junk flying around. Well, now there's no junk. Yeah. And I did this for you. I mean, I pulled this out. I I even dusted your surge protector. And then anything that's like... That's my thing of stuff to take care of. Well, it was on your nightstand, but it probably doesn't belong there. So I just didn't know, you know. This is Brandon's first thing. Oh, is it? I was like, oh, I found money. Remember, I stole it because he left it lying around. <laughs> <laughs> is his jar in his room? Uh, his jar's on his nightstand. I also packed the stuff for our trip this morning. Cool. That's what all that is. Awesome. So there's it. And then we have two bags of trash. So yeah. we have a bit to carry down. Thank you for watching. I typically post videos about minimalism, decluttering, and organizing everything that is left. Please subscribe and join our family here online.